I was I was very lucky in that. I I think I understood the rhythm, rhythms of the show right away. I understood the psychology of these guys. I understood the humor of the show, and that's something that was really important with that show. I mean, we couldn't decide half the time if it was a comedy or a drama. And actually, when somebody would turn in their draft, the compliment you would give them is, your script was so funny. Oh my God, your script was so funny. So we're like, well, what are we doing here? This is a, it is a drama, sure. But there's a, there is an East Coast sense of humor that David and I talked about a lot, and Frank and I talked about a lot, where you grow up watching The Three Stooges and The Honeymooners and The Bowery Boys, and it's, all, it's loud and violent and obnoxious, and it's like what I was talking about with Frank and I fighting on the set. Or what that's it, you know. It's that's the and unless you grow up here, I think a lot of people don't get it. You know, they don't understand it. I would. I still to this day, when somebody gets slapped across the face, and I my first reaction is to laugh. There was a um, a trailer for the movie Like Water for Chocolate that was playing in all the art houses ten years ago, and it was a very big dramatic trailer with music and. Uh, you know, back and forth, and people yelling and crying, and there was this quick cut to a man, a woman slapping a man across the face, and it was this very loud sound effect. And in the art house theater, every I saw this trailer a hundred times, and every time he gets slapped across the face, I would go, ah. and I, I just couldn't help it. It was the Three Stooges. It was to me, it's 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 always it's it's violence and f comedy are very. You know, or I forget who said, you know, comedy is when you fall down the stairs, tragedy is when I fall down the stairs. But it's, it's very much, and The Sopranos, uh, you know, we used to howl, you know, Tony used to, there was a, the poor hapless uh, bartender, Ralphie, who Tony would beat with the, an ice bucket or a cash register drawer, and we would watch these things over and over, we'd rewind it and watch it and laugh. Like, I mean, I know this sounds crazy, I know it sounds horrible, but it's, it's, this is the reality of who I am and who we were and what that show was and what, what we found funny is there's, there's some, there's a slapstick component to it that is born of the Three Stooges that sort of is with me to this day.